Debate over a proposed amendment giving the state control over chronically failing schools is heating up with less than two months before the November election. Board of NBC's Michael Warwick attended a forum about the Opportunity School District this afternoon to hear both sides. The League of Women Voters asked questions at today's discussion wanting to know what can be done with our failing schools. I talked with speakers on both sides of the proposed new school district. I also spoke with one of the organizers of the event. She says many of her questions were left unanswered. I didn't hear the details of what's going to happen. The specifics of both sides to the Opportunity School District missing from today's forum. Speakers Daryl Morton of the Bibb County School District against the amendment. State Senator John Kennedy for it. How long are we going to leave these children in a failing school and not do something about it? Kennedy backing Governor Nathan Deal saying state control is the best option for Bibb County's 13 chronically failing schools. He was asked what specifically will the state do different? First of which is a cooperative model between the new superintendent and the local school system that's there. I would submit to you that's probably the most likely model that's going to be followed, but that's going to be left to the discretion of the superintendent. To Morton, that rung shallow. Empower the people who are most invested in outcomes. Those are going to be people who live in that community. Morton tried to point out Bibb County schools would be better off with resources from the state that encouraged local innovation. The results that we've been getting are because school systems have been follow following policies put out by the state of Georgia. And so now we have the state complaining about the results in, many, in a sense that they dictated. Forum attendees didn't see the proven track record behind state control in schools implemented in other states. How are you going to come in and say we're going to take oversight, but it's still part of the district. We're just going to take this one school and do this. I'm wondering, how does that work? These are education dollars. And part of the reason for the amendment is to enable the state to take these educational tax dollars and spend them. Many of those leaving today said they wish they heard a solution to problems in our local schools. Their answer, more parent involvement. Well, accountability is everything to me. <laughs> How are you going to take responsibility, you know, unless you are held accountable? Now, the wording on the November 8th ballot is upsetting those opposed to the amendment, saying uninformed voters in Georgia will vote for the Opportunity School District because it sounds good. Skyler? Michael, thank you. Amendment 1 on the ballot will read as follows. Should the Constitution be amended to allow the state to intervene in chronically failing public schools in order to, improvement or to improve student performance? Voters will be given a yes or no option. More details and a full list of Bibb County schools that could be taken over by the state can be found on our website. That's 41NBC.com.